Hola, me llamo María Giannini y soy la hija de un inmigrante de El Salvador. Y hoy les voy a hablar sobre la, la importancia de ser bilingüe. Hello, my name is María Giannini and I am the daughter of an immigrant from El Salvador. And today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of being bilingual. Language is the roadmap of a culture. It tells you where people come from and where they are, they are going. For me, as a, being a daughter from an immigrant from El Salvador, my mother came here in, 1960, in the 60s. She met my American-born father, and they got married in 1966. My siblings and I grew up in what I consider to be a very normal immigrant family at the time. My mother only spoke Spanish, and my father only spoke English. I grew up understanding both languages, but English was my dominant language. That all changed when the Civil War in El Salvador broke out. Mis abuelos came, my grandparents from El Salvador came to live with us. I was about seven years old, and I was forced to speak Spanish because they only spoke Spanish. It was a window into their culture and into their world. Growing up in a bilingual household, I knew that it was a gift to have two languages. We honored and loved traveling the world. I remember as a small child visiting El Salvador, all of the Central American countries, South America, and Europe. And I vividly remember when I was 10 years old going to Italy, and I befriended, we were on some cruise, and I befriended a young girl who was from Italy, and she only spoke Italian. So I spoke to her in Spanish. We figured out a way to communicate. It was remarkable. It actually was a very beautiful experience for me. And looking back today, I recognize that that was one of those markers in life that you hold with you. It was that moment when I recognized the gift that I had in being bilingual. Um, so fast forward to my career. Um, I've been very fortunate. For the past 20 years, I have been doing what I love. I've produced events all over the world. I've worked for companies like YouTube, Google, uh, Pixar Films, uh, let's see, the NBA, Clinton Global Initiative Foundation, as well as the National Football League. I have visited over 30 countries doing events, and I have to say that I think that speaking Spanish has opened that opportunity for me. It's the single most important skill that I possess. Um, and although many of the countries that I worked in uh, were not Spanish-speaking countries, I know that it's my ability to understand other cultures through my language that has afforded me those incredible opportunities. So when I started having kids, my husband and I um, knew that we wanted to share that gift of bilingualism with our children. But being an English dominant, myself and my husband, even though he's a fourth generation farmer and has to use Spanish every day, he does struggle with his Spanish and I have to say it's very much a ranchero uh, Spanish that he speaks. Uh, God bless him. Uh, we knew that it was going to be a challenge for us to try to speak both languages at home. So when my oldest daughter was three years old, we set out on doing some research. There had to be. In Monterey County, as diverse as we are, um, and statistically in Salinas, where I live, 70% of children come from Spanish-speaking households. There had to be bilingual programs, multilingual programs. I mean, we live in a very diverse community. Shockingly, I found out that there weren't those kind of programs that my friends studied at. Those American, French American schools or Spanish American schools that you hear about um, in other countries, they didn't exist here in Monterey. What I did find out that there were some bilingual schools that were actually teaching English. What they were doing is they were teaching Spanish as a crutch in order to get to English fluency. In 1997, Californians voted for Prop 227, which essentially eradicated bilingual education. And what that did is it forced native Spanish speakers and all other native speakers to be forced to learn English in an English classroom. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. That's obviously not what I wanted for my children or for the children of our community. So I delved into the research, and what we found were there were three schools in Monterey County that were offering these small little niche programs that are called dual immersion education. I had never heard of dual immersion. I didn't know what it was. But essentially, through the research that I found out, 
that it takes a native English speaker and a native target language speaker, so let's say Spanish, puts them together for, for a full day of school with the goal of high academic achievement, second language acquisition, and obviously the benefits of learning both languages. Um, I was shocked that that existed. I was you know, excited. I went to these schools to check it out, to see what they offered and, and how my daughter could possibly get enrolled in it. And I was sad to find out that there were so few kids that were actually enrolled in these programs. And like I said, there were only three of them. I did some more research and found out that these programs um, actually close the achievement gap between non-native English speakers and English speakers. Uh, and it was shocking to me. If this were the case, why weren't more people doing this? Why aren't there more parents advocating for bilingual programs, multilingual programs for their children? Um, so I made it a mission. I made it a mission to educate my friends, uh, the educators in my community, about the benefits of dual immersion. Um, and I got together with a bunch of friends, and we now have a nonprofit that we call Dual Language Program Advocates. Um, and what we did is set out to like I said, educate as many people as possible to expand these programs and give more kids opportunities. In 2011, my daughter, my oldest daughter, had just completed or was completing her kindergarten year at a dual immersion program in Marina at Marshall West Elementary School. She was doing extremely well academically, reading above grade level in both Spanish and English. And I actually have a little clip of her in kindergarten. I'm going to show you here really quick. Hi, I'm Alec, and I am six years old, and I'm in kindergarten. And this is a Spanish book, and I'm in Spanish and by Ingola. And English and Spanish. And this is Murcielago y Gato. El Gato Trinca Adiba. El Está allá arriba. Ayuda, dijo el gato. Aquí viene el, la araña. Yo te ayudaré, dijo el murciélago. Yo te ayudaré, gato. Goodbye. So, while she was in kindergarten, I recognized the incredible benefits that she was gaining from being in this program. And like I said, I was shocked that not more people knew about this. Um, so, you know, I could sit here and list a bunch of benefits. I think we could all agree learning it earlier is probably better. How many of us tried to learn another language when we were in junior high or high school? And how many of you in this room who are in high school are trying to learn another language? And recognizing how difficult that actually is. But some of the benefits that we all know, probably recognize, is your ability to speak to thousands of more people, your ability to communicate across cultural barriers when you speak someone else's language. Then there's also job opportunities. Obviously, those come with economic benefits. Um, there are cognitive benefits as well. And your, it, the studies and research have shown that you're brain actually gets rewired when you learn a language at a very early age. And I have some statistics here, or actually I have some, um, some of the cognitive benefits that children acquire when they learn a language at an early age. But one of the most shocking that I learned during my research was that it actually, being bilingual and multilingual, staves off dementia and Alzheimer's. Uh, that to me was super surprising, but obviously a huge benefit to learning multiple languages. Um, the other thing that uh, I believe that gets overlooked the most when we talk about knowing two or more languages is your cultural competency. And for me, that's the most important thing. As I said, my mother's from El Salvador. Um, however, it doesn't li limit me to just understand the culture of the country of where my mom comes from. Ha being able to speak Spanish, there are hundreds of countries that actually speak Spanish. So for me, it has opened the doors to all of those countries as well as many, many others. So when I started having kids and my husband and I decided that we wanted to put our children in some sort of bilingual program and we discovered the benefits of dual immersion, 
I knew that it was my duty to do above and beyond what I possibly could do for my community because this benefit shouldn't be limited to a, a few. In 2004, the state of California only had approximately 200 dual immersion programs that it was really difficult to even find. At the time, there was very limited information about those programs and what they even, even meant. So I got together with a bunch of friends and we met with, as I mentioned, we created the dual language program advocates and we met with the superintendent of Salina City Elementary School District at the time, the late Dr. Donna Alonzo Vaughn. And she had always wanted to start a full dual immersion school of Spanish and English, but she had a hard time getting the English speaking community to buy into it. So that year when my daughter was just finishing um, at the kindergarten at Marshall, we set out to start a new program in Salina City at Lincoln Elementary School. We recruited 120 families, um, mainly English speaking families, to buy into this dual immersion program. And in the fall of 2011, we had a full preschool Spanish immersion program, two kindergarten classes, and two uh, first grade classes. And just now in 2016, my oldest daughter uh, promoted out of Lincoln Elementary School. She's now in the seventh grade, and she received the California Seal of Biliteracy Pathway Award. Um, it has been a, a huge, tremendous honor for me to see my children and our community grow um, this program as well as uh, the hundreds of children that it's affecting. As I mentioned earlier, there were only three small programs that um, were around when my daughter started. Today, there are two full immersion programs in Monterey County, and Lincoln is on the path to becoming a full immersion program in three years. When we started in 2008, there were less than 300 students being educated in the dual immersion program. Now there are 1,600 in Monterey County that are being educated in dual immersion. So I thank you. I'm super proud of that. But most importantly for me, it's like I said earlier, it's really about making um, a cultural difference and understanding people because I think it's our obligation as parents to raise good human beings that are empathetic that are compassionate and understand other people. And for our family, language has been that vehicle. And as a proud mom, I do have to show you one more clip of my daughter who just recently promoted out of um, sixth grade. Here she is and where she is with her Spanish today. Hola, mi nombre es Ava Chinini. Tengo 12 años y estoy en el séptimo grado. Yo estudio español en la escuela Lincoln que es una escuela bilingüe. Mi hermana tiene 10 años y ella también estudia en la escuela. As you can tell, she got all her teeth back. <laughs> I just want to leave you with this. I think that it's uh, extremely important, as I said before, that we all understand one another. And as the former Secretary of Education, Richard Riley said, our nation can only grow stronger if our children grow up learning two languages, our global economy demands it, and our children deserve it. Thank you.